Hi beautifuls, welcome back to Yildiz Readings 5D. For those of you that don't know, I'm a psychic medium, twin flame coach. I cover astrology, moon energy, and personal development. If you do want to come join us in the members hub, we have private twin flame questions in there. No super chat required. And yes, monthly I come to you live. And during those sessions, you're able to ask quick super chat questions. Now for this video, we're going to tune into your psychic energy, connecting into your love interest any blockages or the unexpected that can come up so please stay tuned because this two weeks is set to be very very interesting and pivotal love and light guys let's get into the energy hi beautiful leo we're here to do your check-in for the second week of april now already i'm seeing both astrologically and through your cards that there's you know, it's a bit testing by about the second week and there's something that you're trying to make a major decision on. you got cycles of life. It's like, okay, where to from here? And I think if you had a bit of a break, um, which might be actually directly require, required, life is moving, but suddenly it's almost like your next plan of action is up for grabs. And I think with this crystal coming through, just I've got to get it. My life glides forward with ease. I am mindful. I think and act with a positive energy. Now, yes, Mercury's out of shadow and it's direct. But there's a cycle here to do with your life and, you know, the ebbs and endings and new beginnings. And there's this new beginning energy and it is to do with where to go from here. I do feel, you know, this has been a testing few weeks. So anything that's really been, you know, quite heavy on you. It's not necessarily that the door isn't open to actually usher that new vibration in. Um, any placement where Aries is, is really emotional in nature. So it's it's really pushing us to let go of circumstances so that we can usher this new vibration in. And I feel mentally, the way, just thinking, having to do too much. Um, if you've been working extremely hard, you just, you're feeling really fatigued you're wanting to leave the drama behind and, and the good thing is whatever you've done to change things all that hard work you put in that it might be a memory of an emotion over it's physically within your sphere right now so i'm not feeling immediate danger in your energy i do feel if anything you're just you know you lost hope in certain things so you had to let go of that of what didn't resonate with you now this doesn't have to be an individual in love this feels more of the pressure owning it the baggage the burden whatever those things were having compassion understanding it's it's like you're inter you internalize these things and you were carrying them and they were becoming like stagnant luggage and it's it's really this upheaval of what's going on is to liberate you because you've got this really beautiful um year ahead of you the troubles and indecisions are based on the fact that you might be basing things on the past and it's it's preventing you from beginning this new cycle. I think this week as you move forward, it's going to help you actually understand where you're keeping stuck and what needs to be addressed. And I will put clarifiers on those. Okay. What is this place? Oh, you landed there. I'll leave you there. It's almost like the cards decide where they're supposed to land sometimes and it just jumps onto another area. Okay, you were really um, maybe feeling you weren't seeing something clearly. Now, you knew automatically that, you know, in this release, whatever this emotional release has been, and I, I feel this discussion, it's almost like this discussion coming through, maybe a person getting quite, you know, triggered by what you've said. Um, you've gone internally uh, and, and then really had to look at, you know, was that just, was that fair, be it their side or your side. And it was because you were feeling that things were out of balance and people weren't understanding where you were coming from. That I feel you had to change your approach and change your direction. This could even be expectations and how do I put it? Um, it coming through where the person was misunderstanding and not getting how far this has led you down the garden gate path. Now, <clears throat> I kind of feel as though this stagnation is going to be addressed and it's to do with value systems. Value systems, um, conditioning and uh, feeling stuck. Um, try and take the responsibility off your shoulders that isn't yours. Uh, they potentially might be uh, to do with things that you would not forgive yourself if you made a major decision. And I think it's very, um, 
how do I put it? It's coming through that it's a bit too traditional for the reality of what you're trying to achieve. Uh, you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself in this domain, I feel. You kind of feel like you're loyal. Your loyalty is your failure, but it's not. Your loyalty and commitment, um, you know, is to you. It's almost like you feel if you're going to make this decision, it's going to, it has been unfair to other people. Or on the other side of the fence, it could have been directly to you. Uh, but again, I'm feeling as though this push-pull energy is all relating to paradigms and not necessarily that anyone is directly expecting you or the other to do something. But it's, um, if I feel it's a family-related dynamic. Now, I feel communications coming in and it may actually change your mind in a circumstance. It's going to be music to your ears. It feels like it's a solution. Um, this can be coming from a masculine energy, but it can also be in your working life. But whatever this is, it's coming through more maturely. Now, for those of you that have children, I feel, again, there could be good news surrounding a problem that maybe you were having with this um, in a very separate domain. That's sort of coming into balance. Uh, also... How the map for you is going to look is still up for dibs. It's almost like, okay, it's like you're missing pieces of information, uh, pieces of that puzzle to put together. So this new cycle, you're not really sure how it's going to look yet because this old one has been completed and tied up. Now, I do feel from the point that we um, have this movement forward at this two-week mark, I feel it's going to be all systems go. And, you know, I would say really keep a little bit of cash around because you, you are going to have some plans and there's going to be things coming at left field. Now, I do think there's many ways this can go and that's why I feel until the end of this week, you might be feeling a little bit like, I don't know what to do. Do I need to look at this? Uh, I'm also seeing some sense of a contract being signed for some of you. Uh, this could be a lease. It could be a wedding certificate. It could be, you know, paperwork for money to be released. But it just feels... Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's to do with um, not not being able to do that yet, but pulling things together. There's there's missing links here. That's what I'm saying. Some of you are watching somebody. It's like you're keeping an eye on somebody. Others of you, I do feel some school-related dynamic. Now, this can be you or your children, uh, and it can feel as though there needs to be a bit of a shift around in schedule, a shift around in the way you're doing things um, to kind of balance it out. But I feel it's almost like you're having to juggle that. And I've been saying you guys as the juggler for a while. Some of you have completely walked away with walked away from that, and it just does feel as though you've done the you, you did the best you could. It was hard. You're regressing back and reflecting upon it, and now you're looking at that new plan of what your life will be without the stress. But there's something to do with the shifting around and a brand new cycle coming. And although it's not aspected in your chart, I was sensing be very careful because pregnancy could be on the cards. Now I will get into the extension, and I'm gonna say. How this can actually pan out, because I, I feel there could be something we're not physically seeing um, that can be causing some of this. And I think this could be a dynamic re coming up again in a conversation piece. And I want to know why this new cycle is coming up. Love and light. See you on the other side if you care to join us. Otherwise, I'll see you next week and during the week. Thanks for joining us. If you do want the extension read, it is in the link directly below in the box. Also, all the booking information is there. Please subscribe if you do want to have current updates relating to astrology, moon energy, twin flame path. I do have super chats, so if you do feel you can't afford a reading, you can jump through and have a question during the sessions, as well as if you haven't joined my uh, website, please do, because I do put up notifications patients relating to when I'm coming live, any events coming up and specials. Take care. I will see you later. Have a great week.